Gunner, the question for the equilibrium playlist. So this one's about the Chatelier's principle and has a KC calculation in it. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So we've just got to use the Chatelier's principle to predict the conditions of temperature and pressure that will give a maximum yield for ammonia. Obviously, we want the equilibrium to go over to the right. So starting with the temperature, we've got to look at the sign on the delta H, the enthalpy change. You can see it's negative, so the forward reaction is exothermic. So a low temperature will favour that forward exothermic reaction. Moving on to pressure, we've got to look at the total number of moles on the left and right hand side of the equation. So on the left, we've got four moles. On the right, we've got two moles. So a high pressure is going to favour the side of the reaction with the fewest moles, in other words, push it forward. So moving on to the second part, obviously to calculate Kc, we're going to need the Kc expression. So that's the equilibrium concentration of the products, obviously raised to the power 2 because it's balanced with the 2 in the equation, over the equilibrium concentrations of the reactants, and again, balancing numbers become powers. So all we need to do is sub in these numbers here, because these are the equilibrium concentrations. So that's coming out at this calculator value here, but the final answer needs to be to an appropriate number of significant figures. So that's going to be 3, because all the data is to 3 significant figures, and we've got to put it in standard form. So it's 2.86 times 10 to the minus 2.